It's 9.30 on a weekday, but these students aren't in school. Instead, they're painting, making music, and even dancing. <laughs> these children are a part of Inner City Arts, a nonprofit organization that teams up with Los Angeles schools to get students involved with art. Knowledge in itself is meaningless without creativity. That's why Bob Bates decided to start the program in 1989 after budget cuts eliminated arts from public schools. We started out with 9th Street School, then we added three other schools, and then we kept adding schools and wrecked about 30, 40 schools. I lose track. Buses bring elementary schools here for a few hours of the school day for seven weeks. Children's art adds color to the walls inside, while palm trees and plants even bring life to the courtyard. But the view is much different beyond this gate. It's like right in the middle of Skid Row. Visual arts teacher Eva Perez was surprised to find inner city arts in downtown LA, where one of the nation's largest homeless populations is concentrated. <laughs> The police sirens are a constant reminder of the adversity many of the students face outside of the classroom. Unfortunately, they might live in a really tough neighborhood and then they see bullets flying all over. Despite struggles at home, the children show up focused and ready to work. They're really thinking about what they're doing. They feel that they actually can achieve something. Perez has been working here for more than 13 years, but she will always remember how it started. My first day, Mr. Rogers did a show here. She has plans to have children of her own soon, but even that won't keep her away from inner city arts. The big chunk of my heart is here already, so I will always be involved one way or another. <laughs> Prez's only complaint is she wishes she had more time with her students. Seven weeks, it's like, oh, hello, okay, bye. She says learning is about more than just studying books. Inner city arts students may leave school, but they come to a place that stimulates the imagination and boosts confidence. Jose Mitri, ABC, Los Angeles.